All right, next question here is from Jojo Gat. Um, Jojo asks, I have a female Doberman who is spayed and she is one and a half years old. She's not 100% potty trained. She'll go when she's outside, but won't tell me when she has to go out. Is there a way to correct her at this age? Um, okay, yes, there absolutely is a way to correct at this age for that. Um, the biggest thing you gotta look at is likely this dog was never proper potty trained as a puppy, right? Um, and I see this all the time with clients who have puppies or have older dogs who are having the similar issues is they too quickly when the dog is young start giving them too much freedom with the expectation that the dog should already know how to tell you that it needs to go outside. So uh, in or looking at this now with the dog being a year and a half old, what you gotta do is essentially treat the dog as if it were a puppy again. I mean, that's You gotta re-potty train the dog and you gotta do it in the same order that we would do with a puppy. What does that look like? First and foremost, forget about her letting you know she needs to go outside. That's not her job yet here. We will get to that, but obviously not yet. The first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that just like with any puppy, this dog has absolutely no unsupervised time in the house. That means if your eyes aren't on the dog in the same room with you, the dog needs to be in a crate or the dog needs to be on a leash and moving with you wherever it is that you're going. The number one problem for dogs not telling us they need to go outside is because they realize that they have an alternative to where they can go instead that will um, be just as sufficient. Why would your dog sit there and whine at the door if they know they can just go into the other room and go to the bathroom, right? So if the dog has a year and a half of patterning now of them being able to do that, they're gonna continue to do that if they're not supervised and you're never gonna get them to the point uh, of them letting you know. Here's an example, my, uh, my girlfriend's dog, when I first met her, had a really, really bad habit of trying to sneak into the basement to go to the bathroom. She realized there was a pattern. Why would she sit there and uh, wait to go out? So what did we do? We blocked her ability of going into that spot. We gated it off. We made sure that there was no chance that she could sneak down there. And within a couple of weeks, there were no accents in the house because she realized that was no longer an option. So she had to sit at the back door to whine, right? Um, so your dog, you gotta make sure totally supervised 100% of the time and we gotta take it day by day. We need to be able to go one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, one week. Um, without having any sort of accidents in the house. So for one week, no unsupervised time. In addition to that, what you wanna be doing is you wanna be making sure the dog is on a proper feeding and water schedule. You're aware of how much they're eating, you're aware of how much they're drinking. If you already have those bases covered, great, don't worry about it. Um, from there, you need to start taking the dog out regularly, right? So uh, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're regularly letting them out. I typically recommend every two hours or so. Uh, that's usually an adequate time. Uh, you can reward them when they go outside, whatever, you know, but the goal is again that we're building on success we're showing the dog we are going to give you proper uh, abilities to go outside uh, so that you don't have to worry about going inside and we're not going to let you go inside right now we have the bases covered of we're not having accidents inside right and we are patterning in the dog only going outdoors so you're building that pattern of inside never outside always once you have that accomplished which should take you about a week here then you start teaching the cue of letting you know when they need to go to the bathroom, right? Again, like I said, people all the time think the dog should just understand how to do this, but it's something that you need to train, right? Some people do a bell, some people do all this kind of stuff. I just do waiting at the door. I think that's a very clear, very easy thing for a dog to let me know, right? So what I do is I first off start free shaping it. What that means is anytime I even catch the dog walking past the door, I let him out real quick, right? Just for a couple minutes, let him go, come back in, right? and continue doing that until every single time the dog walks past the door, they go outside. What's gonna happen is after repetition of that happening, the dog's gonna start realizing being near this door lets me outside. So then whether they wanna play or go to the bathroom or what, they're gonna start being a little more conscious about it. And it's not gonna be super direct of them going and sitting and staring and whining or anything. It's gonna first look like kind of wandering in that area and maybe checking in on you and stuff. Same deal, keep letting the dog out, keep letting the dog out in that situation and wait till you see a little bit more of a conscious the dog trying to do it. From there, you stretch it out further and further to get the dog to wait and sit, right? Or wait and whine and then let them out. Uh, and the more you build on that, the more the dog will understand that that's the cue in order to do this. But really the key here is not that the dog is too old to learn it or anything like that. You just have to treat the dog as if it were a puppy again, right? And if you could rebuild those patterns, then uh, it should be no problem to work through. We've seen people who've had older dogs plenty of times here that have worked through this successfully. So that's how I would do it. Uh, good question. If you guys have any questions on that, let me know.